。今天的这个案件比较有意思啊，警察逮捕警察，事情发生在美国的佛罗里达州。警局接到报警电话，有两辆车子发生了车祸，其中一位女车主与另一位车主发生冲突，而这位女车主也不是普通人，她是一名休班警察，而且她喝醉了。接警的警察迅速赶往现场，这位穿便装的女士就是涉事女警察，她的名字叫莎拉。Female asshole. Okay. Anything on your guns or anything? No, not at all. Where's your actual ID? Yeah, 'cause that one you don't need anymore. You can get rid of that. I need the other ID. Sorry. You're good. Hey, go ahead and have a seat for me, really fast. Just take a seat. Are you? You're. If you guys are good to go, if you want to, whatever you want to do. Hey, I'm not. I'm talking to them. If you're law enforcement, you know better than to be talking to us like this. Then you know better than to be talking to us like this. The car behind them is a witness. Okay. Okay. It do doesn't matter. Yeah. Um. I actually need to stay with her really fast. Give me one second. 这辆车里坐的是一位男士，也就是他报的警，是他与休班警察莎拉发生了冲突。Do you have your license, registration, everything? I do. Okay. Uh, I'll be right back. Just get that together for me. Hey, so this this crash I'm at right now. Um, she's a Popka PD, but she is intoxicated. Okay, I'm gonna talk to you first. She needs to calm down a little bit. <laughs> so what happened? So um, there's that and perfect. Thank you. 男士把证件给警察以后，就开始诉说刚才发生的情况。当时男士正在从匝道上行驶出来，但是前面的车道已经封闭了。男士慢慢减速，直到停车。他回头看看后边有行驶的车辆，但是距离还挺远，应该不会有安全隐患。于是他又沿着路边慢慢开。刚走了没多远，就感觉到被后边的车子给撞到了。后边的女司机从车子里跳了出来，对着男士说：“伙计，我是警察。”男士觉得自己没有错，所以他立刻掏出手机进行录像。以此来保护自己，也幸好有了录像作为证据。现在他就把录像播放给警察看。Hey, You're good. Hey, excuse me. Please. Didn't lock the door, but whatever. No, you're. I mean, you don't expect someone to do it. Hit my car, ma'am. Sir. Please, sir. Please back away from my vehicle. I do not want this to escalate. It's escalating. My car's right there. I'm a cop. Him at me. Can you hit my car? No, no. I need, I need to please make way. Did she right there? Did she touch you? Yeah, I mean, she was pushing, p u 没错，这就叫殴打。警察并不会偏袒哪一方，说这是什么肢体接触啊？谁先动手碰了别人，就是谁的错。此外，男士曾经好几次想下车，但是莎拉奋力阻止他下车，所以这就叫非法拘禁。不过当时男士也非常害怕，因为他根本不知道莎拉身上是否有武器。最最重要的一点，明明是莎拉撞到了男士，可他偏偏说男士撞到了他。警察问男士是否想指控他。男士深吸了一口气啊，想了好久，然后决定要指控他。男士表示，如果对方是普通人，也许就会放弃指控。但是对方作为一名警察，执法犯法，滥用职权来欺压普通公民，那么男士自己绝对不能忍。如果今天纵容他，放过他，那么来日他还可能用自己的身份来威胁其他人。后来值班的警察主管查处了这件事，他询问了男士刚才的情况。男士把事情又说了一遍。现在再来看看莎拉是怎么说的。Hello, I'm Corporal Torres. How are you? Nice to meet you, Corporal. What's up? Hey. You want to talk to me? 
No, no. I said that. Was oh, okay. Oh, really? Oh, okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, what happened with the crash? So I was coming in here, and he hit me as I was coming in. What's your damage? Uh, I don't think there's even any damage to it. Okay. Which is why I don't. Right here. I'm not sure why he called you. Okay, watch out. Can you get on the side on the yes. road? I think he hit me okay. right here. So we can go back to the sidewalk. Let's yeah. see it. He's just being an ass. Oh, okay. I gotcha. And I'm fine with, like, he literally just hit me right here. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Just give us a few minutes to we'll finish the crash report, and uh, oh. we'll, we'll just get all the information you need, okay? Appreciate it. Okay. Yep. Um, I just want to let you know, though, you are at fault for this crash, okay? And you will be getting a ticket for it for careless driving, okay? Even though he hit me, it's it's dependent upon what everybody says, and what everyone says is that you swerved into him. What's up? So as far as her giving me a ticket, uh -huh. I'm a law enforcement officer. Okay. So he literally ran into me as I was coming off, like driving here. He okay. hit me. I feel you. We have an independent witness that you don't know. He doesn't know. That says differently. It says they saw you. Because he yelled at me the second I got out of my car and okay. went up to him and tried to talk to him. Okay. Are you armed, by the way? Do you have your, no. Your gun on no, no, okay. no. Just make sure. No. Nope. Is there one in your car? No. Nope. Okay. Cool. What's your name? Sir. Sarah 对警察的判定表示不服啊。他还说，当时男士下车对他大喊大叫。因为没有录像，我们也不知道男士是否真的对他大喊大叫。但是即便是这样，也没有什么大不了的，因为男士没有动手，口头上的争执通常不会有太大的问题。另外，男士当时还请求一位目击证人帮他作证，这位目击证人答应了。证人是一位好心的黑人女士。刚才他已经给警察提供了证词，所以警察判定就是莎拉的责任。而且警察也能够闻到莎拉的身上有浓烈的酒精味而且他的言语不顺畅，眼睛里也布满血丝。警察有理由相信他是酒驾，所以车祸责任已经判定了。警察现在正式开始对酒驾和殴打进行刑事调查。So while you were talking to him well, after the crash happened, all right, you're at his at his window. What was going on there? Why were you yelling at him back and forth? Because he yelled at my he hit my car. Okay. As he hit me. Okay. Yep. Okay. And any, so when he got out of the car, what did you do? I did nothing. Okay. Did at any point you put your hands on him and put him, try to push him back in the car or, re no. or redirect him back towards the car? No. Nope. No? No. Nope. Okay. Because that's what he's saying. He, he's saying if he tried getting out of the car, actually, I'm, I watched the video because he had a video on his cell phone that Sorry. he got out. I'll teach you. Okay. That he got out of the car, and as he's getting out of the car, you redirect, try to redirect him back inside the car. I never touched him. No? No. Nope. Okay. Is there a reason why you think reason why he would say differently? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. Why did you tell him so many times that you were a cop? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. It was, you were just doing it in a very aggressive manner. It was kind of intimidating. You see what I'm saying? I didn't intimidate him at all. Okay. He hit my car. Okay. And that's. So all you have to, had today is two glasses of wine. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Would you be able to do some field sobriety exercises? No. No? Okay, you understand that if you don't do these field sobriety exercises, I'm going to have to make a decision of your impairment based on my interactions with you and the, the videos the witness showed me and the witness statements that were said. Okay? So what are your and, witnesses? Okay. So let I me mean, finish, please. Okay. On top of that, if you, do, if you do refuse, that could be used against you in court if you were to be arrested for DUI. So I'm just asking, what are your witnesses, him, mm -hmm. right now? I have, well, I have two witnesses. And then I have the observations of two other officers that were on scene, including myself. Okay. So I'm gonna ask you again, would you be willing to do some field sobriety exercises? No. No? Okay, so you, and you do understand the implications that I'm gonna have to make a decision based on what we've seen, heard, talked about, oh my God. and that it could be used against you in court. Do you understand that? You are going to come at me right now for what he says, mm -hmm. for what he hit me okay. on my car. Okay. I'm not coming at you, like I said, I'm conducting an investigation, okay? Crash investigation was done, you were determined to be at fault. 
you have a very strong odor of alcohol in your breath. Your mannerisms have been what typical what an impaired driver would be. Okay. You have bloodshot eyes. All right. You, you, you have not been acting how I would say a police officer should be acting, especially off duty. So I'm going to ask you again: Are you willing to do field sobriety exercises?警察直接将莎拉逮捕，对莎拉的三项调查已经结束。第一项调查车祸，责任在于莎拉，她将会收到罚单。第二项殴打男士，虽然莎拉嘴上不承认，但是有视频为证。第三项酒驾，莎拉拒绝接受清醒度测试。其实美国法律没有强行规定说司机必须接受清醒度测试，不接受测试完全不违法，但是。警察依然可以逮捕对方，因为还有其他的证据，比如说证人的描述，还有对方呼吸中的酒精味，以及不正常的生态等等。如果对方拒绝清醒度测试，那么在法庭上对他是不利的。就是因为害怕酒精度超标，所以才拒绝测试。最后的结果是，莎拉被指控酒后驾车、殴打他人和非法拘禁。其实莎拉在之前就有过法庭记录，包括驾驶执照被吊销和违反交通规则。作为执法人员，还执法犯法，看来素质有待提高啊。